Observe how this wave moves, its rhythm and progression. Pay attention to how it moves from its lowest point to its highest, moving with a fixed amplitude. As it reaches its peak, its climb slows and it's pulled back downwards to its equal and opposite pole. The distance it climbs will be the same as the distance it falls and vice versa. And as it climbs in one direction and gains displacement, its potential displacement in the other gains also. This is the principle of yin and yang. Now pay attention to this. Notice the ways in which it is similar to the progression of the wave. There is a movement forwards in both while oscillating between two poles. The reason we have two feet and not one is so that when we walk we have balance and we plant our left foot, then our weight transfers to the left and then moves back towards the right. The entire cosmos is made of yin and yang and we manifest the principle in order to walk, to perceive and to move towards our goals. But this instance of yin and yang is only a small part of all that is at play. We can observe this instance of the yin and yang at the local scale, but this remains nested within a larger structure. Just as there is a balanced way of walking that allows continuous movement, so is one's path shaped by external forces of order and chaos. When one encounters the yang of a boulder or the yin of a hole, one chooses to avoid it and remain balanced. And one's chosen path is the result of their psychological needs also, which are also chaos and order. Not only is there a balanced way that enables walking, but one can also walk a balanced path through life as a whole, the middle way, according to the Taoists. In order to achieve this, harmony and balance at the local scale must be achieved at many or every instance. We call this manifesting a yin and yang within a yin and yang and completing larger goals requires attending to them. But this way of perceiving the yin and yang also becomes one of the most useful tools for growth and expansion. The Taoists believed that true being was manifest where order and chaos were in harmony. In order to achieve our goals, therefore, we must bring into existence certain forces that will enable our goals to manifest. We move towards our goals just as the progression of a wave, just as the progression of our walking feet, through the manifestation of balance on the local scale and attending to the smaller yin and yangs. But as we approach our goals and remain as steadfast as before, we also begin to limit ourselves and our horizons. This leads to an unconsciousness of which story we are emerged in. The goal we are pursuing is merely another manifestation of a smaller stepping stone on our quest, and its attainment will one day too be like a footstep in our journey. To move forwards, practice the following. Recognize what it is you are trying to bring into existence right now. Recognize what harmony you are trying to achieve. Then realize that this harmony is but a smaller yin and yang, constituting an element of what is larger. Cast your eyes upwards and seek the greater image you are playing a part in. And this will allow you to elevate your consciousness above the forces of the world. If you remain unconscious of these higher forces, you will be an actor in their play. If you reach an awareness of them, however, you will be a playwright. Use the principle of similar shapes. The patterns you are involved in have a greater extension. As above, so below. Jung's famous quote can lead us to a deeper understanding of this principle. Asking the right question formulates one's situation clearly in the mind. It allows you to seek what is complementary to your understanding. It allows you to take aim at a distant shore of knowledge. This is what one can do in all instances of harmony within their life. Reflect on what it is you are trying to do and where you are, honestly enough, and a direction or an answer will appear before you. Your goal is infinite and you must not get stuck on your journey. Use this as a key to open up paths to the heights in this symbol lies the greatest wisdom, drawing us into the great mystery. Join us for part three, where we will venture yet deeper still into the symbol. Leave a comment if you'd like to speak with us further, and we'd be happy to do so. Love and peace.